Hello and welcome to another X Midweek Update, 17th of December 2020. We've got really exciting news for you. Now, news number one is from Little Legends. They just graduated six kids. Andy is one yes. of your kids there graduating as well? That's right, Zion. Zion! <laughs> oh my word! It must have been so cute. Yeah. Uh, how about his best friend? Did he? He's got two best friends. Two best friends, okay. Ezra and Elijah all graduated. Elijah, yeah. which is of course uh, Elvin King's kid. Yep. And uh, so they must have had so much fun. <laughs> so it was just last uh, Saturday, 12 December, uh, and uh, the parents, you know, were really hoping, you know, it's pandemic time. Will we have a graduation or will we give it a miss? No, they wanted a graduation and a graduation is what Little Legends gave them. So, uh, as you can imagine, it was a beautiful time with lots of cute moments from the kids. They all shared their favourite memories in school like, listen now, Join LL since they were babies. Made good friends they now call bros. <laughs> Andy, is that yeah. one of your... That's the three of them. The, the three, three of yeah. them, they call each other bros. <laughs> okay, meaning best friends, okay? Um, some shared about their favourite teacher or subject. Uh, some shared how much they love the yummy soup. The yummy soup? What soup is that, Andy? I think it's ABC. <laughs> ABC, oh, that's my favourite too. Okay, the kids also put up a special dance performance themed on washing hands and staying safe. How cute is that? Uh, the ceremony then ended with the kids' favourite pose, or rather move. Uh, I'm sure Zion had one too. Throwing their motor boards in the air. They had motor boards. The last time I had a motor board was when I graduated from law. Okay, uh, but we start young, huh? Once again, we would like to congratulate all the kids, and of course the parents too who worked hard, completing their time in Little Legends with not just academic excellence, but also with great characters. Amen. Social business update number two. Now, Lynette's, L-I-N-E-T-S, Lynette's is an organisation that is under our care, an organisation that is dedicated to mental health and suicide prevention. Well, guess what? Just recently, uh, Dr. Jill had an invitation uh, representing Lynette's on a sort of a national uh, platform. Uh, let me read that to you now. Um, uh, we were invited, uh, uh, this particular initiative, uh, at the recent virtual 24th Malaysian Conference of Psychological Medicine that was held online from 12th to the 13th of December 2020. This conference is an annual conference organised by Malaysian Psychiatric Association or MPA, for the mental health professionals in this nation. The theme for this year's conference was Mental Health and Challenging Times, Lessons Learned and Moving Forward. Dr. Jill represented Lynette's uh, to present at one of the conference's symposiums entitled Community Suicide Prevention Advocacy, in which Lynette's was privileged to be featured alongside other established national suicide prevention initiatives such as iLife Suicide Prevention Association Penang and Buddy Bear Children's Hotline. It was truly by God's divine favour that Lynette was given this opportunity to be made known at the national level as the conference was attended by approximately 300 mental health professionals from all across our nation, with majority of them being pre-believers. A fresh fruit from this conference is the birthing of a new uh, network, or new networks, I should say, between Lynette's with individuals and organisations who are actively involved in national suicide prevention efforts. All glory to God for His divine favour to be able to learn from and work together with other suicide prevention efforts in our nation to champion hope and life. Isn't that great, Andy? Yeah. Fantastic. Jill did such a great job. Yeah. Uh, we praise God for that. Um, social business update number three. Basics. B-A-S-I-C-S. Basics Holiday Program. Basics actually stands for Before After School um, Integrated Community Services. Okay? I didn't have the 
six finger to show you, uh, but that's what it means. Uh, and uh, the holiday program that they put out every year is back. This time we will be going online with a three to four day, well, three day, let's just keep it to three day, break dance. B-boying class with Coach Albert, not Albert Lau, okay? Albert Ling, all right? Uh, Albert Lau is doing football. Uh, I don't think he break dance. If he break dance, he'll break uh, when he dance. So it's Albert Ling, uh, and he's doing the break dance, B-boy class, uh, and uh, here are the details. Take this down. 21st to 23rd December 2020, Monday to Wednesday, time 10.30 a.m. till 12 noon. Uh, one hour, 30 minutes with 20 minutes break uh, for ages 6 to 10. So you're wondering what you want to do with the 6 to 10-year-olds that you have. Send them to Basics Holiday Program and to B-Boy. All right, I think girls are also allowed to B-Boy girl. Okay, and uh, it's only 60 ringgit. Okay, we're not wanting to make any profit from you. Just uh, going to pay uh, for, you know, the incidentals, whatever it is. Just a small fee of 60 ringgit. Sign up here, okay? Uh, you have uh, that bit.ly uh, link uh, on the screen. Uh, go into that and sign up and sign up quickly. Limited slots available. You can't have 50 people doing breakdowns, okay? Uh, so, you know, it's going to be limited. Please sign up and sign up soon. Now, age group ministries. Age group ministry update number one. The multi-site ex-teens leadership retreat or leaders retreat that happened just last weekend. You know, uh, I was also invited uh, to be there. Uh, Pastor Andy uh, opened his house uh, and I was there and I got to share uh, the vision from that house to two other sites. One was in uh, DVCC at Courtyard and the other one was at the peak. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, we had such a good time. I was there to share the vision, but after I shared the vision, they had games. And the next day, of course, Pastor Andy also shared uh, his heart uh, with the teens' leaders and uh, you know, also gave them some strategies for the way forward. So our teens' ministry leaders had their annual retreat to pray and plan for the year ahead just last weekend. Due to the current CMCO, uh, they had the retreat in three different locations, as I mentioned, with less than 20 people in each location. For those who couldn't join physically, they tune in to sessions via Zoom. Thank God for Zoom, yeah? Uh, it was a refreshing time uh, of worship, prayer and fellowship and also catching God's heart and vision uh, from the leaders, all right? It was also an important time of going into details uh, and also welcoming new people into the team. It's always good, good having new leaders and ex-teens uh, had new leaders joining them and what a great time it was. Our teens ministry team is now geared up and ready to see more teens reach and disciple in 2021. Wow, I'm already saying 2021. Did you know that we will ever get here? Of course you did. But look, we are just weeks away, just a few weeks away. I hope that all of you get ready, get prepared, just like ex-teens did, okay? Now, age group news and update number two, Campus City Cares. What's that? Started at the end of November... Campus City encouraged our campus students to do something to bring cheer to someone, anyone. Many of our students who are back at their hometowns now started blessing those around them, their neighbours, their friends, their classmates, security guards, you know, janitors and more. Here are some pictures. More stories can be found on social media, okay? Uh, and that also is on the link on your screen. Uh, get into that, know what our campus uh, students are doing. They're doing amazing things as well. Now, let's talk about homes and Christmas cheer. You know, it was many years ago when I first did uh, the Christmas at the park where we started Christmas cheer. Some of you who were with us then, you know, you remember the big yellow crates where all our partners, they will come for that concert, Christmas concert held at the uh, Sunway venue, you know, the amphitheatre. Remember that? We had about 5,000 people coming for that. Those were good days. All the churches came together and I remember it was a proud moment for us because we, ex church organised it. We never had our own Christmas for five years and the churches just came together and we started Christmas cheer then with those yellow crates. And our members, our partners will come and they will bring all kinds of goodies and those yellow crates will be filled. And, uh, you know, just at about Christmas time and after Christmas, we will be sending all these goodies all around. Well, 
we are continuing that tradition. It's called Christmas cheer and our homes are beginning to embark on this beautiful, noble and powerful act of love. Well, CN7 just did that last... Uh, let me see, what day was that, Andy? Saturday. Saturday, uh, yeah. right. Last Saturday. This Christmas season, we are mobilising every home and every homie to shine their light and share the love of Christ to those in need. Each home are given the initiative to decide and organise their own projects, be it one collective project or multiple projects concurrently. We aim to not just perform a one-off act of kindness, but to intentionally and consistently build a relationship with the people who uh, we are connecting with and blessing. With this in mind, here we go, CN7 story now. Uh, CN7 decided to bring cheer to one of the children's shelter home in Petaling Jaya, PJ for short. Some of the CN7 homies uh, basically, uh, CM7 is also my home. Okay, so cool. Some of the homies had already connected with the shelter. Uh, it's a shelter home uh, for children, okay? Uh, some of the homies connected with them a few months back. Uh, it started with giving the children some educational programs uh, to help uh, them keep pace with the school syllabus. Last week, CN7 ran a mini Christmas program where they blessed the children with lunch and gifts, you know. Uh, I remember I was part of that meeting and uh, we were talking to CN7, you know, and we were talking about, oh, what lunch should we bring? And you know what? Someone said, let's, you know, bring Kenny Rogers. And I thought, wow, the singer is still alive. And he said, no, it's the chicken, all right? Kenny Rogers Roasters. I said, okay, cool, that will work too. Uh, and um, it was all sponsored, the chicken and, and rice. There was rice. There were donuts. Can you imagine that? Oh, my word, you know, the kids in this shelter home were so pampered, man. The high-class donuts really good tasting Kenny Rogers roasting, uh, roasting, roasted chicken. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, they had a lot of uh, soybean, all sponsored, okay? Uh, I want to thank the partners of CN7 for being so, so generous. And of course, we followed suit after uh, X-Teens and prepared our own shoe box project. Um, you know what was the most difficult thing? It was not to fill the box with gifts. I can be honest with you. The most difficult thing for me and my wife was to find the shoe box. I mean, how many of you keep your shoeboxes? But anyway, we went and we <laughs> bought a shoebox, uh, I think. Uh, my wife was so happy, she go like, Ah, oh, yes, to get a shoebox, let's buy a shoe. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, these uh, ladies kind of things. Uh, so I said, no, we just got to find a shoebox, okay? Not the shoe. Um, the teens in the homes who were also involved with X-Teens Shoebox Project uh, took lead. Yeah, that's right. There are teens in CN7. And they took charge, man. You know, one of them even preached. Uh, and uh, another, you know, uh, did something else. And another did something else. And every one of our teens did something amazing. Uh, and uh, the, the adults as well. Okay, cool. Very cool. 24 shoe boxes were given out that day to 24 residents of that shelter home. All right. Now, let's get into international church plans. I'm almost done now, but it's exciting news because Tume and Thato in ex Botswana got married. Yay! You know how they dance, man. The African style, baby. Okay, so they got married uh, just last... Was it last Saturday? Yes. Andy? Yes, last Saturday. Okay, so they got married and we got photos and I'm not sure whether we got video, but you know, man, you can just imagine. I've been to at least two uh, weddings uh, in Botswana. And I tell you, when they have a wedding and they celebrate, they really, really celebrate. Tumi and Tato, congratulations to you both. Now, Tumi started off uh, in ex Botswana as our coordinator. So we are so proud of her. Only recently, she has taken the role of administrator because the role of coordinator has been given over to our dear pastor Lazarus. But Tumi is still there and she's still going strong. Thank you, Tumi, for all that you've done for us this, uh, these years. Congratulations once again uh, to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, wow, how do you pronounce this? Sele. Sele. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Andy. That's why you're here, man. <laughs> Sele. All right. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Sele. God bless you both. International uh, church plan uh, update number two. 
ex UK Christmas cheer. Yeah, ex UK also had a Christmas cheer. Ex UK initiated their own Christmas cheer in hope to bring some redemption. Is that real? Redemption, is that the word? <laughs> That's, God, that's a cool word. Okay, redemption. <laughs> la, let's just use that word, okay? To 2020. Yeah, that's right. You know, because 2020 was really, a, you know, a terrible year, right? In many uh, ways. So we want to redeem. I think that's what it means, right, Andy? Yeah. Redemption 2020. Redeem 2020 is not all that bad. God is still alive. To many, 2020 has been tough. And many in the UK had and more... Uh, will be losing their jobs. Well, had people lose their jobs, I think that's what it meant. And uh, will also have people still uh, in, in, the, in, the, in danger of losing their jobs uh, due to COVID-19 and the economy that's affected, right? Uh, in fact, I was just online, uh, Andy, yesterday yeah. with Pastor Dave. Yes. Uh, and um, he said, I, I think we're going into another lockdown. That's right. Uh, yeah. So it's tough. It's really, really tough. Okay, but anyway, X UK just wanted to do their part to bring on some cheer mm. and remind people of God's love for us in these dark and challenging times. All four homes uh, in London participated with a total of 35 homies committing uh, to this project. They started planning early December and will be carrying out the initiatives throughout uh, well, throughout, up till right before Christmas. <laughs> Forgive me for my English. Um, uh, they are hoping to impact a total of 100 in London. Yay! All right. Um, here are some of the initiatives so far. Gifts for the elderly alone uh, in care homes. All right. Many uh, elderly people are feeling so alone in care homes, uh, but one of the groups uh, went out and showed them love. Uh, number two, supporting the homeless and jobless. Uh, that happened as well. Um, number three, shoe boxes too, Andy. Wow, your shoe box project is going fine. Why, man? That's cool. Everywhere, man. Again, the shoe boxes are the ones. So next time when you buy a pair of shoes, please keep the shoe boxes, all right? Uh, we, we have need for them. Okay. Shoe boxes and Bible holiday courses for kids. Uh, another group uh, did that. Uh, thank God uh, for uh, groups that remember children during these times. Uh, shoe boxes for homeless. Uh, also with Samaritan's Purse, another group decided to pack shoe box care packs for the homeless. They packed the shoe box, uh, boxes with heat packs. Ooh, heat packs because it's winter now, people. In the UK, it's winter, it's cold. And in the UK, you know, those of you who have been to the UK during the winter season, it's just, you know, really grey, uh, it's really sometimes even depressing, man. But we thank God for X uk especially X london for doing this. And finally, you know, care packs to the homeless. Uh, they, you know, just continue to care for the homeless. So X uk thank you for what you're doing uh, and continue to just love on the people, love them with the, with the love of God, all right? Uh, congratulations for doing uh, what you are doing. All right, now, finally, people, uh, on my list uh, is something very, very special. Now, even as I say this, I say this with mixed feelings. I'm very happy uh, because of what is about to happen, but I'm also very sad because they are leaving us, even though it's for a short time, uh, Pastor Michelle and Benji. Yeah, you know them. Of course you know them. They are going to leave us to begin the journey in Japan, in Osaka specifically. And, uh, you know, we've been having them around, especially for Michelle. You know, she's been around uh, in my office for years. She's been a blessing. She's been, a, you know, an amazing uh, campus pastor. You know, Benji, man, Benji. Uh, you know, some of you will miss that smile, right? And that, you know, sometimes goofiness of, of Benji. Uh, but he's a great friend, isn't he? And both of them are getting ready to go. Of course, they should have been gone since April, right? But because of the pandemic... Uh, you know, it's been postponed twice, three times now. But finally, 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 the tickets are bought, the visa is gotten, uh, and the country is open now for them to go. So, mixed feelings, but I want to invite both uh, Pastor Michelle and Benji uh, into my makeshift studio today. Uh, and hi. Hi, Pastor. 
Pastor. Michelle, hi Benji. Okay, so uh, I want you to be able to uh, say a few words, okay? Uh, maybe even to the people that you'll be uh, missing, the people that you'll be leaving for a short time. Uh, why don't you say a few words, Michelle, and then Benji, uh, and then afterwards I would ask you to do a few uh, words in Japanese. Uh, can you do that? And then of course I'll pray for you. Okay, so look into the camera uh, and go ahead and uh, talk to your friends. Okay, I think firstly, uh, Pastor, thank you so much for entrusting us. Uh, to, to trust us, to, to send us all the way to Osaka for, for this sure. great work. It's really a privilege to partner with the Holy Spirit um, to, to just bless lives in Osaka in Japan because Japan really needs God. That's right. So although we are a little scared and also a little heavy-hearted to leave, especially our family and also our very dear church community here in X, yeah. um, we've been here for so many years, That's right. uh, we really love this X family. So it's not easy to leave, but we're excited. Mm. We are, I think we're more excited la, right. um, to, to be able to, to go and um, see what the Lord wants to do there. Yeah. Yeah, so church, good. thank you for your prayers. Yes. Uh, continue to pray for us because right. we really need it. Very yeah. good. Now, of course, it's always good to be scared and nervous because that, that just means that we depend on the Lord mm. yeah, and we look to Him. So uh, we're going to miss you, Michelle. Benji, a few words from you. Uh, like I think Michelle said it all already uh, I just want to say thank you Pastor And everybody who has been praying with us um, There were a few people who said they were sad But I guess once this whole pandemic thing blow over Please come over But you gotta, you know, s help out a little bit You know, when we start anything there yeah, No uh, free lunch If you go over, you gotta help <laughs> So we really look forward to um, this work That's uh, going to begin there And I told Michelle this And I always say this uh, It's going to be hard but it's not impossible. Mm. So thank you, church, for praying and continue to pray with us. And Amen. thanks, Pastor. Amen. I'm standing close enough to them to actually see tears well up in their eyes. So this is very personal to them. And, uh, but let's pray, okay? I want you to stretch forth your hands as I lead us all in prayer for Benji and Michelle. Andy, I know you're back there somewhere. Stretch forth your hand too, okay? Let's do it. All right. Father, thank you so much that you love Benji and you love Michelle and you have called them for such a time as this. You have prepared them, that we believe. And you have put them together, that we know for sure. And Lord, you have orchestrated, you have orchestrated everything up to this stage uh, for Benji and Michelle to be ready to go uh, to Japan and specifically Osaka. Thank you, O oh God, as you have prepared them up to this stage, you will also, O oh God, take them all the way till the finishing line. Father, we also know that you love Japan. You love the Japanese people. Oh, they are so precious to you. And Lord, in Osaka, I believe that you've already made a way. You've prepared the way. Lord, from the place where Benji and Michelle will stay, the place where they will study the Japanese language, Lord, um, the friends that they will meet, uh, you know, the people that they will reach out to, uh, people they will cook Malaysian food for, uh, and all these beautiful uh, arrangements that will happen and need to happen, oh God, we know that you are the master orchestrator. You are the master planner. You are the God who knows everything. And Lord, we just pray that you will bless every step uh, that Benji and Michelle takes. I remember Joshua chapter 1, where God, you said to Joshua, Every place that the, uh, the sole of your feet will tread upon, I will give it to you. Lord, we believe this for Benji and Michelle, that even as they step in faith and they walk by faith, Lord, for the next two years, we know that it's a minimum of, of two years. Lord, would you do a mighty miracle with every step that they take? Would you give them great friends, great contacts? Lord, would, they, uh, would, would you please, uh, Lord, continue to bless them and show them your goodness and your power and give them many more miracles in the days ahead? So, Lord, we stretch forth our hands. The whole church comes around them by faith and we bless them. We pray that you give them good health, bless their marriage, bless their journey. Lord, everything uh, physical, everything emotional, everything spiritual, let it all come under your right hand of blessing and covering and protection. We plead the power of the blood of Jesus over their lives and over their families as well. The families that they're going to miss so much. Michelle was just telling me the other day she, she will miss her family in uh, Moa. Uh, Benji misses his family here in Subang. But Lord, you will just continue to watch over their families and you, you cause them to continue to have good fellowship over Zoom or whatever it is. And Lord, you know, it won't be like 
it won't be like missing very much, uh, but it will be all good. So thank you, Lord. Again, we bless them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Bless the work in Japan. Bless the Japanese people, oh God. May many, many more come to know your love and yes, saving Lord. grace. Yes, in Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody say, Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank Thanks, you so Pastor. much. Thanks, Thanks Pastor. Pastor. All right, people, that's all we have for you. Christmas is coming so soon. Wow, it's just a week away. So please, everybody, stay safe, be well, be happy, and be blessed. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in today.